Beginning in 2020, COVID-19 intensified the human needs that Catholic Charities was called upon to address, as well as the manner and resources with which we had to address them. Our agency quickly shifted into disaster response mode. A pandemic relief fund and a hotline for those in need was established, and we provided personal protective equipment, food, and funds for Southwest Kansas communities and for those who were directly affected by COVID-19. Richard, a single father of six, was one of the individuals who approached Catholic Charities for help. Already weighed down by the responsibilities of parenthood and keeping everything straight for five girls and an active young boy, the rotating cycle of quarantine hit Richard's family especially hard. His determination to not be homeless is part of what has gotten him through this difficult year. What started the struggle with the electrical bill is we were quarantined. Well, it started out with my son being quarantined. He was quarantined for two weeks, and at the same time I was, since I was in close contact with him. And so it turned out to be 30 days being quarantined there. And during that time, I was working, but I ended up losing the job because I was quarantined. They didn't understand that at that point. And the boss at the time would not allow working at home. So when that was done, my other daughter, Lubella, who goes to Lincoln, she was quarantined two weeks from somebody around somebody in close contact. She was quarantined for two weeks. That went on for three weeks. She was cleared after three weeks in quarantine. And then it happened again with Joaquin being in close contact. So he was quarantined again for another two weeks. And that went on for almost six months back and forth. I had almost all my children quarantined. Pita, the oldest one that goes to high school, she was, she was in middle school, that's before she went to high school. She was quarantined for two weeks. Yesenia, who now goes to middle school, she just got out of quarantine. And so she was quarantined once and then we all just got out of quarantine for 30 days. So on the 25th was the last day that we were all cleared finally. And what caused that, I was not able to go to work, when they would do anything, they were briefly health department instructed that we do not, I do not go nowhere until cleared, so I ended up losing some two good jobs because of it. And that put me behind on all my bills, rent. I even had a landlord that was he understood the COVID but he didn't understand it how how it worked because he was pressuring me, okay, you don't pay the rent, you're going to put a 30-day eviction notice on you. He was threatening me with that all the time. And finally, I reached out to the welfare department to ask if they get the gas bill. And that's what started the whole process of helping me get the gas bill caught up. With, and they had contacted uh, TFI, who is working with me now. And they reached out to Captain Charities, and they were responded very quickly and took care of it right away, which saved me on that part. But it's been financially a very hard struggle to maintain. It was there for a while. I was I didn't know how I was going to do it. I, was, I mean, I was down to, as I mentioned, down to selling, I mean, I sold two iPads, flat screen TV, my laptop, just to keep the lights on. Yeah. My priorities are probably a little different from what everybody else's is. Like, a few people have told me, how come you don't you got this and that? And I said, okay, that's a luxury to us. I said, well, what's the priority? I said, keep the roof over their head and make sure they got clothes and food. Um, I try to teach my girls, okay, just because they got all fancy stuff doesn't mean you're any less. Because what counts is how you treat people. That's it. How you treat them. If you're a true friend, no matter if you're thick and thin, be honest with them, and they'll always come, they'll always be there. And that's what I'm trying to teach my kids. And sometimes it's hard for me to practice what I'm telling them. Like, boy, 